since there is only five days left till the event ends i'm probably gonna play one game as a bull or maybe hammerhead depends what uh, what divers i get so yeah um, i'm gonna play one game as a bull or like just a random shark it depends again what divers i get i'm not gonna repeat it myself like 100 times again but uh when this the event ends i'm not gonna record anything or if i record anything it will be a different game but not depth again so yeah i'm i'm pretty sure nobody's gonna watch them as always but i'm still gonna do that and see if anybody actually watches them or if anybody is actually interested in these games but uh, yeah, i'm gonna go in the game now and then see what i can do and what game that is that may be uh, either battlefield or maybe uh, the hand showdown but we'll see again all right so well um i did not say anything when i was in like a middle lobby or something but uh yeah there is uh, i want to say something about one guy i usually don't say these kind of things but i want to say uh this thing about one guy that is actually uh screenshotting every single time when i lose the game against him and he names them el um lama or something like that i don't know I don't know why he's doing that, but yeah, it's kind of sad. Uh, and hopefully not all the Americans or Canadians are like that, with like two brain cells. But yeah, uh, it's whatever, I mean, I, I, I don't really care. If he thinks that winning against me is a huge achievement, that's a compliment for me. So I'm pretty thankful about that, I'm not even mad. So anyway, um, this is my first game by the way today, I haven't played any game, so... If I do pretty bad, then basically that is why. Also on this map, um, I really don't like this map, I might also take this map off, because it's just boring in my opinion. Every single time you try to kill them, they can basically just place mines or at least like flares or sonars or anything like that in the passages, like uh, in these tunnels or whatever, and you are basically going to get detected, which means you are going to lose unless you are a tiger. Or unless you are a lemon shark, which I don't use, none of them. I sometimes play um, like tiger, but it is pretty rare. I'm gonna play um, pool after this. I will try at least and see how it goes because I don't want to be playing only uh, hammerhead. It also got boring for me because again, every single time I play depth, I go hammerhead, so it kind of got boring. And at the same time, this shark is actually one of the best sharks in my opinion, and it also works really well against some good divers. If you have a good teammate like, I don't know, Tiger or like Mako or some, some kind of fast shark, it actually works really well against good divers as well. But when you play Hammerhead, nothing else but Hammerhead again, it just gets boring. So it's not that easy to like play all, all the time Tiger or the Hammerhead, I mean. Don't mind what I'm saying now, um, I might be saying some nonsense. Because I'm trying to like concentrate and also focus on the game so I can do something and now I have 13 kills. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. Oh man, I wish there was a mine there. I would have just, I don't know, attacked the mine I guess and blow them up like that. Oh, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna get probably all the evolutions I need, which is blindside and which is also these two as well. Why is this guy here? Probably gold I guess. See? The sonars, they are again. I'm gonna tell you guys one uh, sonar placement as well, which is actually pretty cool. So basically, you come down here, and then oh, come on now. So when you come down here, you can basically just place a sonar under these nets, and sharks won't be able to get to them. But the sonars will definitely detect sharks when they are above, so it's pretty open, in my opinion. Alright, so we are probably gonna win until they get to the third save. I don't know if they are new to the game though, but the uh, pins they have makes me think that they are actually new to the game, so I kind of feel bad. Oh. Oh well. The uh, nets and everything on this uh, second save is kind of annoying, but at the same time, I think the second save on this map is one of the best best like saves and best parts. Uh, if you are the hammerhead because uh, they're like um how do i say this they are not like circled edged uh, like corners like these there are only sharp uh, like i don't know sharpen corners i guess like these for example i'm explaining it so badly because i don't know the words like i don't know the exact words for these things so i'm gonna say that when you are a hammerhead you need 
uh, you need such walls like this the flat walls but if walls are like this like circled around and stuff uh, you aren't gonna do much damage even if you hit them but if you hit like the flat walls you're gonna do a lot of damage so what i'm trying to say is the second safe has a lot of flat walls and also nets and stuff like that but other th uh, other saves has or they have such circled uh, circled like walls so if you hit them you aren't gonna do much damage Anyway, I hope I explained it well. If I don't, then my bad. But yeah, so we are winning. Uh, we could have won till they got to the a third save, but I just tried to explain something and it basically just took all the time. Also, playing as a bull was, was like a suggestion uh, from my friend, so that's why I'm gonna do it. And also, I have a daily to damage the save, so I might also just do that. See if I can break it until he kills me. Try hard, okay, I guess. I don't know if it's try harding, but maybe it is. I don't know. Anyways, though, how many kills did I get? I get 28 kills. I could have gotten way more, I guess, but yeah, it was GG's anyway. So I didn't record this video or this game actually because I was talking to someone, so that's basically why. But I got also 28 kills on this map, on I mean on this match. But I'm gonna play one more as a bull again and see how it goes. I, I mean, although I was a bull here, but I'm gonna try it again because I didn't record this, so that's basically why. Finally in the game, and we are going to use the angler skin or whatever the name is of this skin because I don't I don't really have any other skins. I could use default, but no, I'm just gonna use this one. So yeah, um, also speaking of Americans in my previous match, if I talked about it or not, I don't, I don't really remember. But I'm gonna say some things about them as well. Um, there are a lot of them actually, but the minority of them is pretty toxic i don't know why but they actually are i know some of them who are not toxic for example like lux isn't toxic dawn isn't toxic meng is also not toxic he's a cool guy all of them actually that i said right now are pretty cool and sadly somebody just disconnected there but along with good people there are also some really how do i say this like dumb ones i guess i'm not even gonna say their names because if they're watching this they they already know who they are so it's no need to like say their names and stuff but again, there are some people who like, um, oh come on man, there we go. So there are some people who are pretty weird, they they are they are being toxic for no reason at all. Uh, I don't know why they are being toxic, I guess because I have a ping in this game, and maybe that's why, that's why they are toxic, at least that's what I know, and that's what they said, why they are toxic. But the thing is, um, I have... Now I have like 70 ping, right? So that's basically the lowest I've got, or lowest is actually 60. I think that's the lowest one. And also the thing is, uh, when I'm playing on the USA servers, I have around like 150 ping, which is a lot. But at the same time, there are a lot of Russians and also some other people from different countries that also play on USA servers. And they have... way bigger ping than i have for example if russians are playing on the usa servers their ping is going to be around 200 or even 190 if asians are playing on usa servers which they are because i have seen them a lot of times they are going to have either 300 ping or maybe even less and if also australians are playing on the usa servers they are going to have 200 250 ping because i have i know some i know one and he told me and these people like different countries and different continents as well they have played against these uh, like toxic Americans, I guess, as I call them, and they have no problem against these people. And not to mention, they have bigger ping than I do, but they still don't have any any problems with these people. They have problem with only me. So I don't know how should I take this, but yeah, it's it's pretty weird. I tried also being friends with them after uh, after they were being toxic at me, and I was also toxic at them. That's for sure. Why would I let them say bad things and I would stop? I don't want to. I don't want to sound like an angel as well because I have also done some things. But at the same time, yeah, it's pretty weird again why they are toxic to me when there are also a lot of people with high ping and they also lag way worse than me. And the, the one more thing as well, um, as I said, I know a lot of Americans as well who are actually friends of me, like Meng, uh, Don, Lux. Uh, also, some of them I don't remember the same names, but you get the point basically. 
and they have no problem against me they don't say that i'm lucky they don't say that i'm grabbing them from like from like miles away but these people do have the problem for some reason and again that is pretty weird they just don't like me and that's the that's the whole reason it's not like i'm lucky or something or maybe uh the fact that i'm sometimes winning against them they don't like it i guess if uh, if this sounds cocky then so be it, I guess. But it's not like I'm always winning against them because they are in a pre-made every single time. If they are not in a pre-made and they go solo, they always disconnect. Which is also sad. But yeah, whatever, I guess. Also, they have a problem when I'm like when I'm um, missing a lot for some reason. Like if when there is like somebody in the open area or in the open hunter, like this guy for example, they are mostly holding either a net gun or spear gun or something like that. So when there is someone there, I usually go this way and then this way. I sometimes also miss them in order to dodge their bullets. But these people are dumb enough to say that I'm missing because I'm bad. So they don't think that I'm missing because I actually do that intentionally and it's not because I'm missing. I'm doing it because I want to... Let's take this one first and then I'm gonna say it. I want to dodge the bullets and I don't wanna die like that. But I don't realize it, I guess they are... They, yeah, I, I don't know, man. They have enough experience, but they are still uh, dumb enough to not get that, I guess. Anyway, though, uh, I don't really care. I mean, if somebody actually takes a screenshot of me when I lose the game and says something like easy game or something like that, and or like El Mao or El Mafao or whatever the saying is in the USA or whatever, it's actually a compliment for me. I, I would say it's actually a compliment because... If you think that winning against me is actually hard, and you take a screenshot of me and upload it on a, upload it on um, Steam, then you are not trying to like disrespect me or something like that. It's completely opposite because I actually think that you find it hard to win against me, and that is why you are uh, taking screenshots of me in the in the matches when I lose the game. Also, everybody has like bad times, so not everybody is going to be perfect at the game, and taking a screenshot is pretty weird at, the, at these times like sometimes I get like five kills that is that is not because I'm actually bad at the game but I'm not also saying I'm the best at the game I'm just saying that there are some days when you don't feel like playing the game or when you are just bent out and you just play just to get the gears to craft the new skins that are in, that are in the event and stuff like that it's not because you are extremely bad at the game but I don't actually realize that and if I take a screenshot of them and upload it on my on my steam that doesn't mean that or i should say that doesn't mean the same thing because they mostly play in a pre-made so if one of them is actually having a bad day or if one of them is actually having a, a bent out time of the from depth i would say that doesn't really count because they are four in a single team they are four in a diver team and they are playing together so if one of them is actually having a bad day then other three teammates can back him up and play well and win the game anyway but when I'm playing Shark, I'm mostly alone. I'm not mostly, I'm like 99% alone. So if I'm having a bad day, my teammate is not gonna back me up. Uh, or if they, if my teammates actually know who these divers are, they, they mostly disconnect and I'm left with the bot. And these divers also just go somewhere in the open area, um, try to get the bot because when, if you guys don't know, if you go far away, bot usually try, uh, tries to chase you. And yeah, they, that's basically how they abuse the bot. Hopefully you guys get the point, what, I'm, what I just said there, I got 20 kills because I was talking too much and I probably also made a lot of excuses, but at the same time I could go all day long and talk about these people, but I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really even want to bother. I think what I said was enough to, I don't know, make you guys think, or not make you guys think, but to make an image and display the image of how these people actually quote-unquote treat me, I guess or how these people actually behave or act. I don't know, anyway, that was probably enough. Uh, it was a, also a nice game, I guess. I got like 20 kills nearly, but yeah. Uh, also, one more thing I wanted to say about them is when they win the game, they mostly say GG easy at the game, you know, like in the at the end of the game, I mean. It's just, it's sad, it's honestly depressing. Uh, I, haven't, I have not said these such things actually, like easy and stuff like that against them. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's just go here and see where i'm at i'm at almost 54th or i mean 53rd place in the leaderboard i'm gonna reach like 50th place pretty soon but it's gonna take some time anyway 
one more thing again about them there are so many things as i said about them it just said so when uh, when we are playing uh, and we just finish the game either they win or either i win i mean we win um along with my teammate they say gg to the other teammate and not gg in general which is also really sad and depressing it shows how dumb these people are but uh, anyway, there are also some other things, but I'm not gonna go into in deep, I mean in depth, because it's gonna take a long time to talk about these things. Anyway, I have a chest there, so I'm just gonna open this and then see what I get. That's something good, I guess. And there is a revolver. That's not too bad, actually, because I want to craft these purple reality skins now, since I already have two reading skins. If I, if you guys don't know, I actually got second reading skin, so I have now two of them. And from now on, there is only 5 days left, but if I play depth, I'm going to craft only these revolver, uh, the Thompson, and some other things. Because most of the time, these reality skins uh, get more pricey than some legendary ones, I guess. But yeah, that was it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment something down below. I apologize for talking um, stuff about these divers. I, didn't, I didn't really want to, but I kind of wanted to like uh, mention what kind of community this game actually has. So yeah, I'm gonna go for now, good luck guys, and peace out.